Alex Clark has responded to the Jaden Animations face reveal drama. Now, back in 2016, a storytime animation YouTuber by the name of Alex Clark would film a vlog at VidCon that featured a lot of other storytime animation YouTubers. Now, at the time, Jaden Animations was a faceless creator, and she said in several videos that at the time, she was just kind of uncomfortable and insecure about her face. And so Jaden would reach out to Alex in private and try and edit her face out of the video and she told Alex that she was uncomfortable with her face being in the video. However, Alex would kind of talk her down and eventually she would agree to this video being released. Jaden would then decide that she, she still wasn't comfortable with this whatsoever and would reach out to Alex and Alex would delete the video. Now, it, it sounds like that this story, that this drama has been settled years ago and you might be wondering why exactly I'm talking talking about this now. Well, recently in an interview with Anthony Padilla, Jaden would bring this up again as a moment that kind of traumatized her, something that really affected her and her mental health. When did your face reveal finally happen? The first time I ever went to VidCon, people were gonna see me, so I need to just like get over it. And like one of the people in the groups was like vlogging and like in my face and stuff. Mm. And then after VidCon, I was like, can we like, edit my face out. I'm actually not that comfortable with it. I was like, I'll, I'll edit it myself. I edited it all. It took like a couple hours and I sent it back. And then he's like, I think I'm going to put the one with your face up. They had like, you know, Jaden, like VidCon vlog featuring Jaden. My name was first. And like they put hashtag Jaden face reveal and stuff in the mm. tags and stuff. I was like self-conscious enough to be like, oh, I guess I'm in the wrong here. And from this interview, it, it sounds like Alex Clark was acting very maliciously it kind of makes him out to be a bad guy. And from Jaden's perspective, maybe he was. And so for the last several months since that video has come out, a lot of people have made their own videos talking about this and and, and people have been going to Alex's comment section and, and, and attacking him, saying that he's a bad, horrible person for doing this to Jaden Animations. Well, today, Alex would release this video finally responding to the drama and he, he just provides his perspective and just kind of shines light on, on his motives and, and what he was thinking and just makes it make a, a lot more sense. He, he doesn't really come off as this horrible guy that, that just wanted to hurt Jaden. And he talks about how he had reached out to Jaden in, in private. Like I said, she agreed to this video being released because fr from Alex's perspective, he thought if she was insecure about the way she looked, then the best way to deal with that would just would be to just release this video. Video. To provide some context, I posted a video featuring several friends at VidCon 2016. Jaden was one of them, and prior to posting the video, Jaden DM'd me and asked if she could censor her face out of the video. I said yes, and a while later she sent me the footage with a cartoon face over her face. That's when, in the DMs, she mentioned she was uncomfortable with her self-image. My immediate instinct was to support and help her. Knowing she was uncomfortable, I encouraged her to leave it unblurred thinking it would help her overcome her struggles. She agreed, and only after she agreed did I post the video with her full consent. And he'd also bring up that after this drama happened, that they would end up collabing several times throughout the year after that. I had no clue how upset this made Jaden. And throughout the year, we collaborated a few times on my channel. Uh, here's an example of one. Uh, oh! Did I get it? You got it! Oh my god! I'm too good for this game. <laughs> oh my God. As far as I knew, we were friends. And he talks about when Jaden had released her video talking about her issues and things she was struggling with. It was at that point that Alex decided to take down the video because he didn't want to contribute like this to her mental health and he had no idea what was going on. In the video, she discussed her personal struggles in much greater detail than I was made aware of. And without mentioning me by name, she said she was mortified when I made my video and that it destroyed her. What? I was hurt. I was completely unaware of the the extent of her issues and I felt bad for letting her down so I took the video down immediately because it made me realize my actions, although not intentional, were incredibly insensitive and I had no idea. 
I felt terrible. So it, it just kind of seems like there, there, there was kind of some communication issues here. And I, I think that Alex did the, the best thing that he could do in a situation like this. And I don't really blame Jaden for, for not going in, into detail about her issues with Alex because th those are hard things to talk about. So I, I can understand both sides of this sort of drama here. Now, since then, there have been a lot of false claims circulating about Alex that just kind of paint him to be an even worse person. And he addresses those in this video as well. I reached out to Jaden to apologize and express my regret for any harm or embarrassment I caused her. And I hope she's doing well. Now I'd like to address the false claims that have been circulating. A lot of people were saying that he was the first channel to post Jaden's face publicly and that he kind of doxed her. However, Alex talks about how there was another channel before he made his video that had had Jaden's face in it. And a lot of people were claiming that he was like maliciously filming Jaden in order to like, I guess, get clout or, or to get attention or to get views on, on his vlog by like leaking her face. But he shows in this video that that's not what he was doing. He was just filming a vlog that, that she happened to be in. And, and, and in some of the parts, she seems okay with it at first. <laughs> and we all know you want to see her face, but we're going to do a backup face reveal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I tried to get myself. No, it's a front of face. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. There were other clips as well, including one where we joked about finding Jaden's biggest fan, but it was Jaden talking. But all clips were filmed consensually and friendly. If Jaden herself felt like I was in her face, I would like to apologize for that. It was not the intention. I was filming friends at a vlog convention. And then once again, he apologizes to Jaden Animations. Now, another major part of this video, he goes over this incident where he had drawn Jaden Animations, like eating a pizza and, and crying, which at the time, Alex did not know about Jaden Animations, anorexia and, and, and food problems. However, when he was made aware of it, he deleted his video and he then talks about how all these negative comments that he's been getting have like really affected him and, th and they've really hurt him and that he's he's just sorry for, for this incident, basically. Lastly, I wanna say sorry to any viewer that may be upset by something I did. The whole point of my channel is to make you laugh, and so to think I did the exact opposite of that is heartbreaking. I've started to see too many comments that paint me as a super villain saying things like I don't deserve to live and I deserve everything I have coming to me and that I'm the worst person on planet earth I've gotten comments like you're an incredibly abusive prick um comments like this guy is an asshole and deserves what he has coming for me the greatest feeling in the world is putting a smile on someone else's face. That's why I make videos and it destroys me to want to do that and see comments like this. When I read these my heart sinks, forever praying for your downfall. These comments make me feel alone and withdrawn and like I can't trust my own judgment. I'm sharing this to be honest with you about how I feel. And I mean, at, at this point, I I just don't really know like what more people want from Alex because it seems like every step of the way he's he's done his his best, right? He he messed up. He posted this video that that really affected Jaden, but he didn't know the extent of of those effects. And when he found out, he deleted the video and apologized to her. I think this situation is just kind of an example of how how toxic the internet can be and how there's just two sides to every story. And I wouldn't really say anyone is like necessarily the bad guy here. I don't want people to like take away from this video thinking that Jaden Animations is somehow in the wrong. I think mostly it was the people in the comment section that were like going hard at, at Alex for something that really didn't need this much anger. Anyway, yeah, these are just my thoughts on this entire situation. If you guys have enjoyed, hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel.